CataractCoach.com, Nucleus Division with weak zoner support and without Nucleus Rotation. So using a pre-chop technique to make thin strips and then a V-groove. Our guest center here is Dr. Masahiko Kimura from Japan. And you can see this is a patient who is going to have cataract surgery, weak zoner support. And so care must be taken in this case to get a good capsorexis and to assess the degree of zoner laxity. So in this case, the surgeon is going to do just a hydrodelineation then use a pre-chopper to split the nucleus into multiple thin strips, which can then be removed. So at any time during this, no nucleus rotation is needed. So there's the delineation, a little bit of a golden ring there, and then more viscoelastic. There's the pre-chopper going inside and splitting the nucleus, and you have two halves now, and then each half can be split again into little strips here, and you can create four strips of nucleus. And again, no rotation is required. And then these can be removed with the FACO probe. Now these all seem like great ideas and you may think these are novel techniques, but these have been described for many years. There's actually, in the old days of manual extracapsular surgery, there was a device that was invented to trisect the nucleus inside the eye to remove it through smaller incisions. So this idea of cutting in a strip is a good one. I like it. And it can be very useful in a case like this. And you see at the end, after the nucleus is out, the epinuclear shell can be carefully aspirated. And then the IA probe can be removed, used to remove the uh, cortex. And at the end here, we'll put the lens in the bag. And so it looks pretty reasonable, good support. Patient probably got a capture tension ring, though that wasn't shown in the video. So one good idea here, and that is splitting the nucleus into multiple small strips. Now, Dr. Kimura also has another tip for us. Let's watch. And here's another one with weak zoner support. And in this case, the V groove is going to be done. Now, the V groove also, the V groove was described many years ago, right? The Kelman V for victory groove. This was a standard technique of cataract surgery back in the day. And you can see as the capsulorex has started here, the zoner support looks pretty weak. You saw that wrinkling of the anterior lens capsule. So I like the idea that we're going to avoid causing more zoner stress here. So rexus is completed, and you can see those four steps with the markings, so you know it's a five millimeter rexus, and you can do a little hydro dissection. Hydro, there's the golden ring of delineation. And then again, the V groove is done in order to split the nucleus into about three pieces. So here's one side of the V, and then you can do the other side as well. This technique has already been featured here on Cataract Coach. You saw the video from Tom Oding from Iowa who says, to use this technique in a case where you have an intraritual injection that has damaged the lens capsule. So you want to avoid the hydrodissection, avoid manipulation of the nucleus in the bag. So here, once the V-groove is created, now the pre-chopper can be used to just split these pieces. You could also just use the FACO probe and a second instrument like a chopper to do the same technique of splitting it. And now you've got three pieces in the eye, and those can be emulsified. First coming out with that central piece, once that central piece of nucleus is removed, it'll debulk it, and there's a lot more working room, and now each of the two side pieces can be brought up and emulsified. So both these videos are very interesting. I like that they are good techniques to use in cases where you do have suspected zion or weakness. What are other techniques you could use? Well, you could also make a generous rexus and try to get that nucleus out of the bag, not necessarily with only hydrodisaction, or end a nucleus out with hydrodelineation, but you can actually just use your chopper also and lift the nucleus or endonucleus out of the capsule bag and then emulsify it at about the iris plane without worrying about operating in the bag and causing further zonal weakness. You can see here at the end of his case, as there's moving cortex, smart move going in slow motion to avoid damaging any more zonal support. And here comes the capsule tension ring being injected in the capsule bag. Nice and easy, good delivery, and then now the single piece acrylic lens can be placed in the capsule bag as well. So very nice technique here. If you have a case with loose zonals, perhaps give one of these techniques a try. Thanks Dr. Kimura for sharing your videos.